Now, let's see how the Cubans get on. Lithuania, France, Hungary, Moldova, and Algeria. Our five judges, the computer will select three of those five randomly and take those points in our 10-point must scoring system. You can see the height differential, the reach, all to the advantage of Zakupov, not to mention the home crowd support. Good start from both boxers. quickly and back out just got to watch those uh, low blows <laughs> trying to move in look you see the Cuban in the silver and gold shorts covers up with the guard trying to just step in a little closer and as we expected from Zakubov, nice boxing at range. He's also putting that right hand downstairs as well. Good start from Zakubov. Got to keep this youngster right at the end of that lead hand. tends to open the hands a little when he's moving back and he's allowing himself to get caught. A nice one-two combination there from Cervantes, the Cuban. Looked a little nervous in the opening exchanges, but he's starting to find his rhythm now. Oh, there's a lovely left uppercut from Cervantes, and that stung the Kazakh boxer. Looks like he's blooded his nose for it as well. Under a minute left in this first round. Good work from both boxers. Dips underneath. He's keeping those, that guard a little higher now. That's better. Dropping that guard and opening the hands as he comes forwards on the attack. Moves himself to the counter punch. The judges have to score. It's a must. One box of ten. And the other nine or eight. Last ten seconds, important. And uh, the last shot going the way of Zakupov of Kazakhstan back in the red corner. Very close first round. Great work from both boxers. By far the more experienced of the two Zakopov here. One spectacular shot from uh, Stervantes that just left uppercut. And uh, Zakupov takes the first round work to do for Cervantes. Remember, they haven't dropped about 15 bouts so far this season for the Domodoros. They have not lost one. All of a sudden, there's a sense of urgency in the corner of Cuba. Zakupov just getting the better. Round two. Of the Cuban in the first round. Now, let's see if he can just... Turn it up a gear now, Cervantes. There's been some interesting tactics played out. Zakopov, one of the most experienced boxers of the Astana team, or the Kazakhstan team, but also one or two newcomers tonight as well. Just a little low with the blow and keep that head up. Well, better work rate from uh, the Cuban. He seems to be doing more of the work, doesn't he, in the second round. 
But you need those punches on target if the judge is to hit that button to score. Nice lead jab work from Zakupov, keeping the Cuban at his full range. Slowed the pace down a little here as well, Zakupov. Lovely left hook there from the, the Kazakh, but uh, Cervantes. Putting some good work together here. Slowly trying to trap the Kazakh boxer in the corner. Good body shot there, right hand. Hooked it right into the bottom of his ribs. There is a chance here for Cervantes. He just tends to get a little lazy with the hands. Well, I say lazy, that's his style, obviously, for Zakupov, but he does drop them. And that leaves the target wide open for the young Cuban. Well, under 40 seconds left on the clock. Good shots from both boxers again. Kazak wants to let the uh, Cuban in for some infighting like this because there the hooks coming in left and right to the body. Good closing uh, 10 seconds for Cervantes. I've got the Cuban just up on my cop that second round, but very close again. <laughs> He's got a cut to the eye, looks to be the right eye for Cervantes. Oh, second round goes to Zakupov. Well. The upset could come nice and early in tonight's competition, in tonight's match. Zakupov is now two rounds up. Seconds out. Round three, the Shinshaw. Third round. The first time in the tournament, the pressure is now on Cuba. It's not looking as easy. Cervantes is really trying to up his game and work rate. We know, and the boxers and corner know. Trying to draw Zakupov into a bit of a slugging match here. Trying to just work a little bit more with the left uppercut as well. But he's too up, and for me, he doesn't want to mix it now. Zakupov, he just needs to box at range, use that footwork in with the jab and back out again. Throwing a lot of punches, Cervantes, but missing a lot because he really has got the range leveled nicely. Play to your advantage, and he's doing just that, Zakupov. Again. Beautiful, stinging jab. His confidence is high now. Could this be the turning point? Not only for Cuba's unbelievable winning streak, but also for the form guide for the rest of the season, because as the defending champions, Kazakhstan, have started this first bout in week four brilliantly. Oh, Zakupov 
starting to show control now. Again, lovely movement of the head and shoulders. Parry out of trouble. Oh, there's a good right shot. That's better from Cervantes. Gives him a little bit more confidence as well. Another good right shot from Cervantes. Trying his best. To try and get those combinations to start to flow. Counter punching so effective from Zakopov. But uh, Zakupov's footwork really has been exceptional. Nice double jab right on the bell for Zakupov. And he's looking the more skillful. And certainly looks the more experienced in the ring. Of course, this is the key score. If he goes three up, the pressure really is on the young Cuban now. Right hand, right on target, and again, good shots. Zakopov now 3-0 up. We thought this was going to be a very difficult night for Kazakhstan. This is the start that they needed, the start that the fans expected, and it is all good for the Arlands. 3-0, and I'm sure... Second half. Sergei Korczynski, the coach for the Astana Arlands, is just saying to uh, Mira Sakopov, more of the same, box him at range, keep him away. <laughs> Needs to keep the focus here, Zakopov. This young lad now will start to try and throw his big punches. He's got nothing to lose. He knows he's three down. Three five-minute round. Five three-minute rounds, I should say, of course. So he's looking for a big punch here, Cervantes in the silver and gold, the black and gold of the Astana Arlands. And one of their seasoned campaigners, Miras Zakupov. Shots from both boxers. Both boxers working beautifully with their jab, lead hand. Lead left, of course. Keep that head up, the referee warns Zakopov. Oh, there's a lovely little screw shot there from uh, Cervantes. He's not going to let this one go, no question of a doubt. He's taken Zakopov's best shots. But still, keeps coming forwards, trying everything that he possibly can to draw in Zakopov. Trying to get those combinations away. And uh, Cervantes trying absolutely everything now. Yeah. 
It would be truly remarkable if he could turn this one around. Quite a nasty cut. Doctors checked it once already. You'll have a second look at that eye of uh, Miras Zakupov. Cervantes also has got quite a nasty uh, right eye, but the corner have worked on that fantastically well. But uh, it's quite a serious... I'm not sure it was a punch or a clash of heads. Much better work from uh, Cervantes. I've got him up on that round as well, but I've already been wrong. Lovely step forwards with the jab there, stinging. Zakupov, first round. Goes to the Cuban, is this too little, too late? Zakupov is 3-1 up, the fifth and final round. Frantic work on the cut eye. Again, great corner work. Now, he's got to stop him or knock him out. It's the only way Cervantes can save this one for Cuba. He knows it, doesn't he? Also, Zakupov is fully aware but that will be the tactical play from the Cuban. So stay quick on those feet. Using every inch of the canvas here, Zakupov. Covering up well. Taking those punches on the gloves, most of them. There's the cut opened once again. Oh, if this was going further than five, it may be a different story. But I fear that the young Cuban is running out of time here. Halfway through the fifth and final round. Oh, guts and glory from both boxers, no question. Digging deep. The crowd enjoying every moment of this as Cervantes tries, tries in vain. Lovely right uppercut from the Cuban to stop Zakopov. He's let Zakopov get the first three. And it looks like he may well take the fifth round here, Cervantes, but he doesn't have a big enough punch. And the guard and footwork of Zakopov is keeping him out of trouble. Minute left to go. Can Cervantes stop this contest? There's the first big right. Oh, walks onto a left as well. And another strong right hook from the Cuban. Zakupov shows that he can take a big punch as well as give one. And this time, uh, just getting a little ambitious as he comes forwards. Uh, Cervantes takes a big right hand from Zakupov. 25 seconds on the clock, and uh, it looks like Cuba may have well lost their first bout of the WSB season four. Zakupov, oh, another lovely shot from Cervantes. He needs another three rounds, doesn't he? Under 10 seconds left. This is the perfect start for Kazakhstan. And there's the bell. Well. Great work from both boxers. I think Zakupov may have just done enough to hold on. Again, the tactical play of the Kazakhstan team, for me, comes to the fore. Zakupov, well, 
had met his match in rounds four and five, but the first three, Cervantes just a little slow to get into the pace, into the rhythm. Excellent long range boxing work allowed the Kazakh boxer to open up the early lead. And I think that just may take him through for the win. Well, Cervantes thinks he's done it. of course, top of Group B. Three from three. Judge one, 48, 47. Judge two, 48, 47. Judge three, 48, 47. The winner is Rindola! Oh, the first one of the night goes to the hosts. Astana Islands of Kazakhstan.